Burke here. How's it going everybody? It's an awesome Friday and I'll get into that in a minute, but I just want to pop in and say, um, really just share my gratitude and from the bottom of my heart, um, I'm going to get into my story real quick, but I started this community, um, 13 months ago, and I don't know if you guys seen my post, but we hit 30,000 followers. You guys, this is crazy. So yeah, I'm going to get into it, but as you guys are popping on, hey, Erin, I'm sitting in my, uh, my front room here in my home, and yeah, just loaded with a ton of gratitude, you guys. Hey, Sarah, what's up, girl? Um, so I just have a few minutes. And if you didn't see my post, I, I posted uh, about an hour ago, uh, just my, my, my thank you and how much from the bottom of my heart, you guys. Uh, let me know if you guys could hear me. Give me some thumbs up. Okay, cool. You guys can hear me. I don't have my earbuds in. I always feel like I need to wear my, my earbuds. But um, yeah, if you're new to me, I just, uh, I would love to say, I'll give you a shout out and say hello. I want you to drop me a one and then also... Um, after I'm done, you want to stay until the end, but after I'm done, head over to createsuccesswithjulie.com and grab yourself in, uh, one of my free resources. I have many over there and just drop your email in. And I promise I don't send out emails every single day. I get it. Um, but uh, really just wanted to come on. I was talking to somebody today and he was at a turning point in his life where he needed to make some decisions. And um, we were connected through a mutual friend. And, you know, the story was this. He, he doesn't know, he's at a point in his life where he doesn't know if he should be taking road A or road B. And you guys, I feel like often we are, we come to that point where we kind of stay stagnant and we stay put for the sake of others, okay? Um, anyone out there ever feel that way? Like you possibly feel like there's more for you out there, yet you make decisions based on your feelings about what others are gonna think or how you're gonna be perceived or maybe putting yourself out there makes you feel a little bit more vulnerable and, and it's just scary. Um, does that make sense? Do you guys ever feel like that? And if you do, just drop me a two because that was the conversation I had with this person today. And I think back then to last year when I started this fan page and I love talking to people that tell me a fan page is dead and they're moving into private groups. It blows my mind because a fan page, what has happened since I started this, this community here has been me connecting with people all over the world, me just having really awesome relationships and friendships with people all over the world um, on a daily basis, okay? And in the beginning, I really didn't know how to use this page, right? I didn't really understand how to use it. I just knew I needed to show up and, and, and start the relationships and start giving value and start listening to people and what they were looking for and being more vulnerable. And that's scary for a lot of people. I get it. Um, and I'm telling you, when I say in my, um, in my post, you go back later and read it. When I started doing Facebook lives, I felt like vomiting every single day. I'm not joking. I had so much fear around doing Facebook live, but this has been the, the it is amazing how quickly you can ramp up an audience by doing Facebook lives, okay? Um, and so I I just started, okay? And so often we think about things and we just, we never start. So the conversation with, with this person was I said, would you wanna be sitting here a year from now? Because let me tell you, a year, I mean, it goes so fast, right? I feel like I started the page a year ago. And, or I, I, like yesterday, I started a year ago, but I feel like it was yesterday. And I said, a year from now, if you're sitting where you're at right now in your business, how would it make you feel? And then he got it, right? And I said, listen, 
when you're talking to people, whether it's network marketing or you're, you know, you're, you're selling people into your dream, you're selling people into the opportunity, you're selling people into the product, or maybe you're a coach because I do coaching, right? So I relate with a lot of coaches and you're talking to people about your coaching packages, you guys, whatever it is, we sell on a daily basis, but you're selling the wrong thing. It's, it's selling yourself and selling yourself as being that person that they're going to raise their hand and say, yes, I want to follow you, or yes, I want to have a relationship with you, and I will join you inside this company, and I will join you um, with doing these products, right? Because a lot of people have a lot of choices nowadays. We are inundated with choices. Um, and so when you keep the main thing the main thing and keep the focus on them and take it off of you, because that's what held me up for so long with starting this page and starting Facebook Live. I had the page up. I just wasn't showing up. I had the page up for months. I just wasn't showing up and doing Facebook Lives and posting on here because I was worried about what people were going to think. Mm -hmm. But once I took the focus off of me and I put the focus on all of you, that's when, you know, shit started to happen. <laughs> Pardon my French. That is when... People started showing up, and not overnight. I don't want to, this was not built overnight. However, it starts growing like wildfire, okay? And there's definitely strategies that you could utilize behind a fan page and a business page, and just hang on, because I'm gonna get into like how you can learn more about that for your own business. Um, <clears throat> but for me, it was just showing up and giving value consistently. Even though nobody was there, believing, be believe, believe, before you see. Believe before you see. Write that down. Believe before you see. I'm sure you'll see a meme from me somewhere soon around that. Because I believed that if I showed up and I was consistent and I kept going with it instead of quitting like often people do, they don't show up on their fan page and, and start building that community. If you believe it before you see it, it will happen. Okay? Oftentimes, People quit. And it was painful in the beginning. It was. It was very, very painful um, <laughs> because I felt like I was talking to air and here you all are. Um, however, I kept going and I kept doing it. So what is stemmed from that? In 13 months, since last July, when I made a decision and I committed to growing this community, over 30,000 followers you guys this is crazy like absolutely crazy there's people that have been in this business or been doing what i'm doing for years have had a fan page and i'm i'm right behind them right like it, that's nuts to me um however this is where i put my energy this is where i put my focus i put my focus on all of you and i took it off of me and i said it's not about me it's about those that i'm meant to serve it's about those that are meant to hear my message okay and that's what i encourage you to do is Whatever you're at in your business right now, whatever decision that you're trying to make for your life in the direction that you need to take, um, take it, take the focus off of you, okay? And oftentimes, there's your answer. Um, and so I encourage you to do that and really just be okay with stumbling along the way. Just be okay with it because I'm going to tell you right now, there are several things within my business that I'm stumbling with and I'm learning as I grow um, and I'm not allowing it to, to hold me up. Um, I'm, not, I'm not allowing uh, negativity to hold me back. Um, recent things that have transpired in my life were <clears throat> an upline that I was aligned with in my last company, I've since terminated my position real recently, was because... Um, they didn't align with my views and I didn't want to align myself with people that can treat others like that. Okay. And so I made the decision to leave. Was it easy? No, no, it wasn't easy. It was not easy. I upset people that I love, but you know what? Here's the thing. Um, I had to make a decision and I made the decision. I made the right decision for me, just like you have to make the right decisions for you. But when you're out there and you want to show up in this world and you're scared and you have fear, like I say, fear is just this four letter word that you should just treat like love. Okay? Like love is a four letter word, right? But we have meaning around that. We know what it's like uh, to love somebody. But when it comes to fear, we we have that feeling around it, but it's a negative feeling. You have to You have to transfer that negative feeling that you have around fear and you have to learn to love it. All right? 
because you're going to be faced with fear so many times in your life. And I'm going to tell you right now, just learn to accept it, acknowledge it, and just keep moving forward. Okay. The greatest thing you could do with fear is to acknowledge fear and just know that in this entrepreneur journey that we're all on, a lot of this stuff you're going to figure out as you move forward. Okay. So there's my message for you guys today. I hope that resonated with you. If you got value from it, drop me a three or drop me some hearts or drop me something. Um, because the last thing I want in life is for people to settle. I don't ever want to see anybody settling in their life because they feel like that's what they have to do. No, you should do things that rock your soul, that light you on fire, that you wake up every single morning happy, ready to tackle your day, uh, create a plan for yourself, create that vision, create those goals, and, and really just go after it. And don't worry about what other people are going to think or say about you. I've really conditioned myself to leave my past in my past and process the emotions at that time Okay, process the emotions at that time. You have to process the emotion and like, like allow yourself to go through it, but don't get stuck there. Don't get stuck in a downward spiral. And if you feel like you're getting stuck there, you need to reach out and you need accountability partners and you need to call a friend or you need to reach out to me, message me, and I'll bring you back up, okay? Um, but don't ever settle in life. It is way too short. So there's my message for today, you guys. I just, again, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate you. I appreciate everyone showing me the love. I appreciate, appreciate you sharing um, what this community is with your team members, with your friends. Um, and real quick, I just want to say, if you are on my email list, you definitely want to keep your eye out for a special announcement Monday this coming Monday morning. So stick close to your computers, your devices, your mobile, whatever you're using, your iPads. Um, it'll be sent out Monday uh, morning. So you definitely wanna make sure that you check out your email. And um, also on Monday, I'll be doing a Facebook Live talking a little bit more about fan page versus personal page because I get this question um, most often about fan page versus the personal page. If you are not on my email list and you want to get on my email list, head over to createsuccesswithjulie.com, drop in your email, grab the freebie. I have um, a 60 days to 10K ebook. I have a social media recruiting frenzy guide. I have my 41 bulletproof one-liners. Um, I have a um, attraction marketing boot camp. There's a lot there. So make sure you check something out and you'll be on my list and you'll get the message Monday morning. So stay tuned, everybody. Again, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you found value in this message, please share it. And um, as always, be blessed. Be blessed. I want nothing but success for all of you in your business. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave one below in this video or just feel free to message me privately, okay? Take care, everybody.